Greetings, citizens of Nerdtropolis. Sean Taj here, the mayor of Nerdtropolis, and I have a special interview to share with all of you featuring astronaut Jose Hernandez and director Alejandro Marquez Abella, who brought this biopic to life called A Million Miles Away. First off, congratulations on a great film, and it's awesome to be at Space Center Houston for this. How does that feel to be in Space Center talking about a million miles away? That's perfect setting for uh, the opening of the movie as it opens today on uh, Prime Video. Yeah, it kicks off Hispanic Heritage Month. How does that mean to y'all? Surreal. Everything is surreal. <laughs> so, Jose, how did your story turn into a movie? And then, Alejandro, how did you hear about this story? Well, uh, yeah, I think the way the movie turned uh, it turned into a movie was the fact that when I left NASA, I became a motivational speaker. And, I, and then after that, I wrote books. And uh, somehow some Hollywood producers got a hold of the books and said, hey, this belongs as a story. And it wasn't until I, uh, what I called a, a bona fide uh, movie house uh, select films came by that had experience in motivational pictures that I kind of finally attached myself to the hip with. And, uh, and, and then we went ahead and pitched it to various studios and uh, here we are. But Hanna uh, can tell her side of the story on that. No, I knew about Jose when he went up to space, but then I came back to this story just like three years ago when these producers, Mark Chiardi and Campbell McInnes, were looking for a director and a writer. And I got to compete for the job. So I went to a, through a Jose Hernandez face in my own project and I got inspired by what he had achieved and his, you know, courage to just walk into NASA and be confident and be himself. And, I wanted to emulate what he did. It's a family story. It's a love story. It's an underdog story. I'm not going to lie. I cried when I watched it. I became like your father <laughs> in the movie, tearing you, up. You had dust in your eyes. Oh, I, that's what I, yeah, that's what everyone says, right? <laughs> but I'll be honest. I was crying. A lot of heartfelt moments. And Michael Pena plays you, which was an excellent choice. What did he bring to the set every day? He's impressive hard work. He's the most hardworking actor I've ever worked with. He was two weeks ahead of me. Like, in two weeks, we're going to shoot this. And I want to know how you see this. And it was an amazing experience. He's, he's just a, a Mexican-American superstar <laughs> of all times. Yeah, when you heard Pena was playing you, how did you feel? Oh, I was ecstatic because I think that was the right actor to portray me. I mean, after all, let's be honest, uh, he's played an astronaut before, right, on The Martian. So he had the experience already. And... Uh, I, I'm just glad that the uh, studio selected him. Yeah, and I want to talk about this one part, many parts of the movie uh, with a grade school teacher. How important was your grade school teacher to influence your path to becoming an astronaut? It was so great because uh, she changed the trajectory of a whole family by visiting us that afternoon. Uh, so important that we had her sit next to my parents when I launched into space. So she watched the launch live with my parents, and I thought that was so special. Yeah, uh, that was a beautiful thing to watch. And especially, uh, what do you want audiences to take away from this movie? I want audiences to be thankful for those who put food in their table on a daily basis. I want everyone to feel that their origins are the right ones. You don't have to be no one else. You, don't, you have to be, you know, just honor where you come from and just know that your power is in you and it's there. Yeah, beautiful message. And lastly, Jose. You've accomplished a lot personally and professionally. What's next for you? What's the next big goal for you? Well, the next big goal, uh, you know, they have that old saying, you can take the kid out of the farm, but not the farm out of the kid. Uh, you know, I got a vineyard and I operate it with my father, which is the best five, six years I spent with him. Uh, and uh, I have my own label of wine. So the next step is right now is a direct to consumer wine. Uh, the next step is to build it up to the point where you can walk in any liquor store or supermarket and in, in where states allow it and be able to pick my Tierra Luna seller's wine. So that's hopefully that happens. You're never going to retire, it seems like. No. But thank you all so much. This was a great pleasure to speak to both of y'all. Thank, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Once again, this is Sean Taj, the mayor of Nertropolis, and stay tuned for more movie news, reviews, interviews, and trailers.